There was an article that came out yesterday from The Athletic, and the story was tracking the players that were cut from last season's Colorado team when Deion Sanders was hired as the head coach there. Because it was very, very widely publicized, and the clip was all over social media of Deion Sanders walking in that team room and saying, listen, some of y'all are not going to be here. Some of y'all will not be a part of this team that are currently in this team room. I am bringing my Louis luggage. So he telegraphed it to him. And the, the response from this article, just from the Twitter sphere, we got a lot of mixed responses, and I want us to unpack them right now. First things first, though, if you're watching on the live show, shout out to y'all. We love you. Make sure you are subscribed. If you want to consume this show via podcast, Apple, Spotify, you type in the hard count with J.D. Piquel, boom, we're there for you, all right? Any way you want it, that's the way we got you, okay? Make sure you're subscribed. We appreciate you for that. Follow me on the socials at J.D. Piquel as well. So here's the, the crazy thing about this article. 90, 95%, I would have to guess, of the responses on Twitter did not actually read the article because what they saw was the quote graphic. And I want us to kind of unpack what this quote graphic said, and I'm not going to uh, show the quote graphic because I honestly don't know if we would get sued or not from The Athletic. So here's what the quote graphic entailed. You had two pictures of Deion Sanders, and you had quotes from a former player, Xavier Smith. And the quote reads as follows, quote, I was actually getting mad, like tears coming to my eyes because, bro, you never even tried to get to know me. And that's him recalling Deion Sanders telling him he should enter the spring transfer portal. The next quote, also from Xavier Smith, also with a picture of Deion Sanders. He says, quote, he was destroying guys' confidence and belief in themselves. The way he did it could have been done with a little more compassion. Okay? So I got a lot of thoughts on this. Got a lot of thoughts on this. Again, people just saw that quote graphic, and they're like, oh my gosh. Deion Sanders is just being a bad guy, cutting these kids, destroying their confidence, and just throwing them by the wayside. And my first reaction when seeing this quote graphic, quite honestly, was like, that sounds like Power 5 college football with adults having their jobs on the line and a roster that was 1-11 a season ago. Sounds like he was trying to get his football team better and they had some players clearly on that roster that weren't going to help in that effort. But again, people did not actually read the article. People just saw that quote, thought they knew what the article said, and ran with it. If you actually read the article, I don't think it paints anybody in a bad light both the players that were asked to leave and Deion Sanders himself. Like there was a lot of other quotes from players that I thought were extremely positive and extremely, I mean, just fair to be real. There was a quote in there that said um, he wasn't being a jerk about it. He was just straight up, wanted to see if we could play. Does that sound like somebody who's lacking compassion to you? There was also a lot of people that took to the Twitter sphere and gave their own experiences of how they interacted with Coach Prime. And basically saying, hey, Deion Sanders called me out and asked me my name, asked me how I was doing. Like, there was a lot of also really positive experiences with Deion Sanders that came to light because of an article like this. But again, the article itself wasn't a hit piece on anybody. It was genuinely tracking these players and what happened to them with life after Colorado. And a lot of these players did not give an emotional response. They were just like, yeah, it is what it is. We understood what he was doing. We understood that we weren't one of his guys that he brought in there. So some of those guys hit the portal on their own accord. A lot of those guys were told, hey, you're not going to play this year. And there was also a quote in there where the player is recounting what Deion Sanders told him. And he said, like, Deion was, was pretty fair to him. He's like, listen, we need guys to play right now. We need guys that are going to help us in this 2023 season. You're coming off of injury. I don't think this is going to be best for you. Probably should hit the portal. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It's, it's not youth football. We're not talking Pop Warner here. We're talking a real deal business that is college football, and we're talking adults with jobs on the line that have to feed their families. And it's hard to do when you're not winning football games. And what they had in-house at Colorado was not a winning product. It just is what it is, man. It's no hard feelings. It just is what it is. And also, here's the thing. Like, the kid with the quotes from that graphic went on to have a really good career this past season at Austin P. I think he had an All-American season. Uh, or it was a freshman All-American season, potentially, at the FCS level. Like, good for him. And here's the thing, like, <laughs> excuse me. I don't fault the kid either for that response. Like, I think the quote graphic kind of paints him in a bad light, but, like, put yourself in that kid's shoes. You probably would feel the same way. New coach comes in. You're excited to be on, on scholarship at Colorado. You know, your dreams have finally come true of playing big-time college football, and you get cut. It would be unnatural to not be emotional. It would be unnatural to not feel like it wasn't fair to you. And here's the thing, it probably wasn't fair. 
But college football is not about fair. Fair isn't what wins you conference championships. Fair isn't what gets you to bowl games. So, like, I don't dunk on Xavier Smith at all in this. I think that quote kind of put it in a bad light, but I don't fault him either. It's just one of those things where, like, man, if you read the article, it's not actually taking shots at anybody. It's just calling a spade a spade here. So that's that's kind of my take on it. I don't think the folks that have strong opinions on the player or strong opinion on Deion Sanders either way, I don't think they really took the time to, to unpack the context. Now, then there was the response from Shadur on, on Twitter. And Shadur tweeted out with a quote from the article. Again, I don't know that Shadur read the article. He might have, but just based on the way that he responded, he said, I don't even remember him. To be honest, bro had to be very mid at best. Then he goes on spaces and him and some teammates kind of chop it up and just talk about like, hey, listen, we don't need people throwing shade at what we're doing here. We don't need former teammates throwing shade at what we're doing here. Like we're just, we're, we're trying to keep this thing positive. And like, I understand that conversation. I might have maybe chose to not have it on spaces, but that's just me. But honestly, dude, like I get this from Shadur too. Is it how I would have done it? Probably not, but I get it. I 100% get it on two fronts. One, that's not just your head coach. That's your dad. That's your dad that folks are, again, not reading the article and then going and taking aim at your dad and the way that he runs things. Saying that he's not compassionate. Saying that he's not operating with class. Saying that he's destroying these kids' confidence in their careers. Like, of course, whether he's your coach or not, you're going to go to the front lines and defend your dad. That's the first thing. The other part is this is your football team. Like, Shador Sanders, as the quarterback and the leader of Colorado, this is his team. He feels some kind of way if you're going to speak down on what they're doing internally at Colorado. They put in hours at Colorado, man, I promise you. They have dedicated their entire college experience to making Colorado football, to making Colorado football successful. And, um, yeah, I mean, like there, there's no, again... I probably would not have done it this way on Twitter. I wouldn't have done it this way on Twitter. And the reason why is because if you're, if you're a fan of Shadur Sanders, I wonder how this is going to be perceived when it comes time for the NFL draft. I want to put a pin in that, and I want to tell you a personal story here really quick. When I was a sophomore in college, I got thrown out of my brother's high school basketball game. Thrown out. The backstory there, my brother gets fouled hard. They don't call it. Happens later in the game. Kid pushes him. They don't call it. I stand up, make a scene. They're like, hey, you're out of here. You can't yell. This is a high school basketball game. Like, you can't make a scene here. Relax. Now, for me, same thing. I'm going to the front line for my brother. I think what happened there is is not okay. I'm going to step in. I'm going to make my point. Who cares, though? How does it look from the outside looking in? If someone were trying to, you know, if I were applying for a job and that person were in the room, they're like, what is this dude doing? Why is, why is he making a scene at a high school basketball game? And Spencer Rattler, from what we can tell, just got dragged through the NFL draft because of how he looked as a senior in high school on a Netflix series. The way that this looks is that Shadur Sanders is throwing a former teammate under the bus very publicly. So I, if I'm Shadur Sanders, I'm telling, or if I'm someone in Shadur Sanders' camp, I'm telling him like, hey, Shadur, take care of Shadur Sanders this time next year. I understand you want to go to war for your, for, your, for your dad and for your team, but like I'm telling you, man, there's a different way for us to do this. Same thing I would have told sophomore in college, J.D., hey, you want to take care of your brother, but maybe don't make a scene at the high school basketball game. So it is what it is. I get it on all fronts. I think actually reading the article was a great article. I thought it was really insightful. I thought they painted everybody in a pretty fair light from Deion Sanders to the players and not all the players had a negative experience after Colorado. Some of them, it worked out great. And I think for Colorado, it was what had to be done. Deion Sanders is there to win football games, not to make friends, not to make people feel good, not to go and, and, you know, miss bowl games like he is there to win ball games. And the team they had last year was not good enough. And he told them that. He told them in that meeting room, hey, some of y'all are going to get cut. And then some people got cut. Is it fair? No. Is life fair? Is college football fair? Also no. So that's kind of our two cents on that, man. I understand where people are coming from. I understand that there's some reactions to quote tweets. But again, quote tweets aren't real life. All right? Quote graphics, not real life. So with that, we move on. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.